Hey there, Scipio here, and in this video, I'm getting rid of these factory JK hood latches and exchanging them for the JL hood latches. So I first saw this on a video somebody shared on one of the Facebook groups. Uh, JK Gear and Gadgets is the first one I saw do the install, and the minute I saw it, I knew this was a mod for me. Um, I've often wanted to replace these stock latches, but um, there's a lot of options out there, but none that really spoke to me. None that I was like, that is what I want. And I just, you know, I haven't had any problems with these, so I left them. But as soon as I saw these new JL ones, I'm like, those are the ones for me. So basically, I'm going to replace these with these, and uh, yeah, let's get it done. Oh, I'll put a link in the description for you where you can get these. Uh, I'll put the same link that JK Gear and Gadgets put with the same code. It worked for me. Uh, I did have to wait. It was on back order for, I think, a couple weeks. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are buying these things up to put on their JKs. So don't be surprised if you have to wait. And feel free to shop around. But this link and this code in the description was the best deal I could find. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is just prop up this hood just a little bit. Get in here and remove these two 10 millimeter nuts that are holding this top piece on. Okay. All right. All right, so this has a little plastic protective piece here and some dirt and grime. Believe it or not, I can come up underneath here with a 13 millimeter wrench ratcheting wrench and get to this guy. So the benefit of having aftermarket fenders and, uh, and all that is I've got a little bit more access. So boom, just like that. I knew I was going to have to drill out because I was told, JK Gear and Gadget says, you're going to have to drill those things out to align. So let me go figure out what sizes he's got going on and then I'll just copy what he did because that's how we roll in this business. All right, so he recommended drilling all of these to 3 8 um, including the two up top. All right, so that is gonna allow that. That actually fits pretty good, so he he clearly nailed that because it went right in exactly where it needs to go. But before I put that in, I'm going to paint up these uh, bare metal spots. This is just a uh, Rust-Oleum 2-in-1 flat black paint and primer. I use it pretty much for everything that's not visible which is a lot. Pretty much every hole I drill. If it's gonna be visible, I usually use like clear nail polish. Then I don't have to worry about color matching. Freaking mosquitoes, man, are eating me alive out here. My painting gets worse when I've got mosquitoes buzzing me. All right, while that's drying, I'm gonna go hit the other side. Yep, same thing. I can get down in here with a ratcheting wrench. Uh, my fingers are stuck. Drop that nut. All right. All right, so let's get this installed. Uh, you gotta be a contortionist with your fingers. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this top section in. All right, so now I'm looking at the alignment of this. I'm just basically looking to get an even seam the higher this is, 
the lower it's going to go. Do a quick test fit. All right, so one thing I'm going to do a little bit differently than what JK Gear and Gadgets did is I'm going to give a little bit of height to these. I, when I got these set in at the highest level, I still feel like I wanted the hood down a little bit lower uh, to match the, uh, the body line. So I'm just going to slot these a little bit. And the reason I'm doing that is I want this to be higher on the hood than, you know, this is lower, that's higher. And the reason is, is the higher this is, the lower the hood will go. And also the lower it will be allowed to sit against the, uh, the fender line. So I'm looking at this corner and I'm looking at this line as it runs across the back. Yeah, and I think that's much better. I'll show you uh, this one when I'm done with it, and then I'll show you the one that was just drilled out without being slotted, and, and you can see the difference. All right, so this is the side that I slotted to get a little bit lower. You can see how things, I could probably even come down a little bit, but I have a fairly consistent line. Doesn't look too bad, and then over here, See that gap there and how this doesn't quite line up as well and the gap gets wider to the front. That's just drilling it out to a 3 8 inch. In hindsight, I don't know if I had to drill it out to a 3 8 inch or just slot the original ones uh, in an upward position. But see, that's a much more consistent body line, but that definitely sort of stands out. So yeah, slot those holes. That's adding the JL hood latches to a JK. Shout out to JK Gear and Gadgets for showing me how to do it. Go check out his video. It's always good to see different perspectives and how people uh, process information and then reshare it. Uh, but this is pretty simple, guys. Do it. Uh, links and stuff are in the description. Same links that JK Gear and Gadgets shared. So I don't know if he gets any kickbacks from using that discount code, but if he did, keep doing it. Give him more. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>